Many people, when I'm first introducing them to yogic breathing or meditative breathing practice, they express to me that they find it intimidating and um, there's a resistance there to even attempt um, to practice because they don't know where to start. So I would like to try and demystify. <laughs> there's nothing actually to demystify, but I would like to demystify the practice of breath work specifically yogic breath work and uh, for the purpose of stress reduction. So I can go on in future videos about this, but for today I would just like to focus on um, 278 breathing. So for me, when I'm learning something, um, the how and the why is very important to me in terms of motivating me to implement something that I've learned. So likewise, I've found that in teaching people, it's very helpful to express and explain to them the how and the why, because when we know how and why we're doing something, it makes, it, it makes us more apt to want to do it uh, further. So I'll just give you a kind of brief synopsis so that um, maybe this will help. So the reason that yogic breathing is so effective for stress reduction, um, and I've been practicing this for over a decade, so I have many, many years of practice, um, many hours indeed of practice um, with this, is because, it, in short, it stimulates the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve, if any of you have studied anatomy, it's the 10th cranial nerve, it's CN10, so it's the 10th of the 12 cranial nerves, and it's the longest, and it runs through the heart, the lungs, and the digestive system. So it interfaces, in other words, with the parasympathetic nervous system. And in breathing deeply and in specific ways, we can condition ourselves to put our body in a state of controlled stress. And what I mean by that is we can create an environment within by breathing a certain way um, that can kind of create this stress environment in the body. And through practice, what we're teaching, the way it works and how it reduces stress, um, if you can follow me, is that we're, we're learning how to respond to that stress in an artificial environment, so in the in the context of practicing. In other words, it, it's not real stress. <laughs> so that we so that when we are in actual real stress, then we may employ um, these techniques to perhaps mitigate that or uh, better facilitate dealing with that. Um, so that's the idea anyway, but they there's scientific proof to this. It's not just a theory that it helps reduce stress. It's proven to help reduce stress. Um, and that is simply because it stimulates the, the vagus nerve. Um, so it there's contact there with the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the fight or flight, and it helps um, to tap into that so that we can um, learn how to be in our bodies more comfortably on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'll just teach you very quickly how to do the 278 breathing. Basically, it's an inhale for a count of two through the nose, and then um, containing the breath for seven counts, and then exhaling for a count of eight. And there are more complicated things that you can add on to this. Um, later, um, such as, um, like in yogic breathing, for instance, I'll just give you an example. We employ the locks, the body locks. So the, in yoga, Uddiyana Bandha is the abdominal lock. So it's the upward lifting lock. And that's uh, where after you exhale, you pull, you pull the abdomen in towards the rib cage. So in other words, you pull the belly button towards the spine and that uh, abdominal upward lifting lock um, enhances the experience as well as the mula bandha or the root lock. So in Chinese medicine, the root chakra, um, that area of the body, the pelvic floor is, are the muscles that contain the energetic knots of resistance to change. 
So these are very powerful channels in the body that we can tap into with our breath. So again, let's um, to close out this video because I don't want to go on and on in um, just right now, but um, I would like to propose <laughs> anyone watching this to practice the 278 breathing. Sometimes people do 478. Um, and sometimes people do four square breathing. So in for a count of four, sustain the breath for four, exhale through a count of four, and sustain the exhale for a count of four. So there's all modalities of this, as you can see. And uh, another thing I would encourage is also just going with your, the way that your body feels and going with your intuition. So you can sit quietly with your eyes closed and inhale for a count of two, sustain the breath for a count of seven and exhale for a count of eight and you can just repeat that cycle um, later increasing to a count of four and then seven eight um, but this particular simple breathing exercise is um, when done over time there is a cumulative effect well there is an immediate effect on the nervous system but there's also a cumulative effect on the parasympathetic nervous system because of that stimulation that I just spoke of in the beginning of the vagus nerve. So it's, I think, the reason I bring all that up is because, again, the how and the why can make someone more apt to want to practice a particular thing or even want to learn more about it because um, just telling someone simply, oh, you should do this, it's great, well, why? <laughs> and how do I do it? So that's why I bring that up because um, I find that it, when I'm learning something, those are the kind of first two questions I have about it. Like, why am I doing this and how is it working? What is the mechanism behind it? Um, and those two things usually have very interesting answers and that kind of sparks my curiosity and motivation to want to not only learn more about it, but to actually implement it in my life on a regular basis. And so I would encourage everyone watching this to try out the 278 or 478 uh, yogic breathing and let me know how it works out for you. Um, let me know if you do breath work or if breath work is something you're interested in. Um, I'm, I'm certified and trained in yogic breathing, so i this is a topic of great passion and interest and also practice for me. And so if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. So ask away and good luck.